Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm going to be peeking into my stacked bin here and see if it needs fed or or what's going on in there. All right, I'm going to take off the top fluff here and... Okay, so here we are. And I'm going to dig around and see where it is that I fed last time. I think it was in this corner over here. But I think it's been a full, like, seven days. Might not be much left. Melon seed, banana stem. Lots of melon seeds. So I must have fed over here, but there's really nothing tasty left over here for them to have had a worm ball. That's so sad. No worm ball for me because I didn't come down here in time to catch a worm ball. But we'll fluff up the whole thing here and you never know. Maybe they're just all hanging out together, you know, Netflix and chill someplace and I'll run into them. I'll be like, hey worms, what's up? And they'll be like, mom. We're not flexing and chill. What do we got here? Oh, um, this, I think, potato? Yeah, yeah, that's gotta be a, a potato. So, no potato left, just the skin. So there's a good number of worms right in that vicinity. And let's see, pretty decently mature cocoon. Let's see what we got here. Um, old, oop, that. let's see if we can get closer to the light for that one. Um, trying to see if it'll focus. They're all up in that. Yep. For squishy little things, they are very strong. All right, well, just uh, pop off this first layer here. Move you. I'm not doing like an earthquake thing on you, am I? So yeah, that's pretty typical for down here. No worm ball. Well, a little, a little bit of a worm ball. All right, well, this smells okay in here. And again, I don't really see any food. The underneath layer that I started last time, it's only been there for a week or so. I'm not gonna mess with that, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and I normally don't feed under here, but since there is a a third layer below now. I think I'm going to. Handful of paper. Little worm pixie dust. And then some worm gruel. Okay, eating down the middle. I'm gonna give them three glumps and some junk mail. Yeah, somebody must have sold my name or something. I'm getting a lot of junk mail lately. Who, who snail mails anything anymore? Honestly, don't even read it. It goes right in the shredder. Alrighty, we'll put the other level back. And then I'm not gonna feed top over top. Let's see, I'll move things over this way. And we'll feed over here in this, along this side today. So a handful of the junk mail. Three handfuls of goo.
top it off with some junk mail, cover it up. And then one of my procedures for this bin is that I cover everything up because it is kind of, it's a shallow bin and just in case they decide to want to go wandering. I'm not sure if it's 100% true or not, but I think the dried paper keeps them from wanting to wander. That's it for that bin today. All right. Well, if you don't mind, please hit the thumbs up button and poke the subscribe button if you have not already. Um, if you are already a subscriber, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and I will see you guys later. Have a good night.